Everything you do in life, just go out there and just do the best of your ability. That's one of the things I'll tell my younger self because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Just make the most of it while you still have the chance and then nothing comes easy in life unless you work hard for it. So. I remember back in 2020, uh, I had this big injury where I can't walk for two weeks. That was, and then I was just like, oh, yeah, this is it. And then I always reflect back on the struggle with my parents and stuff. And at the back of my mind, I always think, so if I give up now, then who else is going to support my, my, my family? So that's, that's been my big motivation. Like. At, the, at the start, when um, I got scouted, I was 17 at the time, and then uh, the parents were happy at the time, but then they said, oh, I only have like, uh, I think, eight weeks in school, and then after that, I'm gonna come overseas. During that period, my mom was like, oh, <laughs> are you gonna go? Oh, my mom kind of missed me along the way, because at the time, they were pretty happy. Oh, there's another opportunity for you to go overseas and try a better life and stuff. And then I reckon it was like two weeks before I about to hop onto the plane. The first time I hopped into a big plane to come, to Australia, that was a big, that was a hard two weeks, to be honest. I don't have any family in Australia at the time. I was 17 at the time, and then to leave mum and dad and all my siblings behind and try and uh, achieve something, that was pretty hard. When they came to the airport, they left me, that was, uh, yeah, that was the hardest couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty hard, it was pretty hard, because, you know, when you go to a place where, obviously, I can't speak proper English at the time, so I was still 17, that was, and, to move to Sydney, yeah, it was a pretty big move, so yeah. I remember when um, the club was was uh, saying that we we're going to go try and get a, a trial game in Fiji at the time. I was just like, oh, hopefully, hopefully we get it. But once we got announced and then, yeah, that was, that was pretty, um, Big for me and my family back in Fiji. Having um, played in front of them for 12 years, so to get the boys, all the Storm staff, the, the players and the fans to come and see where where I grew up in, in Fiji and stuff. And also like to go straight to my island with um, Elliot Nelson. And um, there was a bit of an um, emotional trip for myself as well. Um, growing up uh, in Fiji at the time, I never thought I'd be uh, here right now. And then for me to go back and um, see my family and my friends of what I've achieved so far in my career in rugby league. There was, um, was such a good feeling, but at the same time was very, very emotional. So pretty happy at the same time, that's for sure. So we were here, and uh, this is Nandi. We were here, and then we could fly all the way from here to here. So that's the two biggest island, one, two, and that's where we are. <laughs> Today we are privileged to host a team led by one of our esteemed alumni, Tui Kan Kamiva. As we gather here, we celebrate the spirit of camaraderie and excellence that defines our school community. It fills us with pride to see one of our own, Tuikam Camila, return to lead a team dedicated to success and sportsmanship. Tuikam Camila, we applaud achievements and the example you set for our current students. The journey from student to leader inspires us all, and we are honored to welcome you back to your school. Good Uh, Tomanda, uh, I'm 
Nous I remember when I went there, I just pretty much just said, like, look, I was, at one time I was in a guy's shoes. I was just sitting like that. I wake up in the morning, walk to school, and then I was just looking down. I kind of see myself sitting down there. Like, just bring back. I was so emotional while I was talking. And yeah, to see all my, my mom and dad standing on the side, and then to see their son talking in front of um, the school, just to try and motivate them, like, if I can do it, they can do it as well. But it comes with a course. Nothing comes easy unless you work hard for it. So I remember when I was growing up in Taviuni, uh, I never came to the mainland when I was 11 years old. So I've been growing up in the islands the whole time. And then uh, I, the only reason we came to the mainland because of studies. And then my mom, she's a school teacher. So she got transferred to, to the mainland. And then, uh, but in saying that I live uh, a normal, simple life in the islands. Uh, dad works in the farm and then mom, she's a school teacher. So uh, the way of life is pretty cruisy. <laughs> Fiji time and stuff. So that's why I want to try and uh, get the boys to come and experience the way of life while I was uh, growing up. It's totally different from here in overseas. Nah, -uh. my boy. I remember it was after we visited the school, we came back, we, uh, we came back to the, came back home, we're sitting down, uh, and then I can just, I was looking over, I can see my mom and dad sitting there, and they were just like, smile all over their face, and I was like, she's so good. It's the best feeling seeing your parents like that, especially with what I've been through as a little kid, and then, and get to share that with my, my mates. Like, I, I went there with my mates representing the storm, and then for the club to come over, and to organize that, like it's obviously Melbourne Storm, such a special, special club. And then for them to um, give me permission to go to my island and experience that, it's, uh, I don't know, it's such a good feeling, eh? Obviously this place, he uh, got this renovated and he uh, very proud of it. He always, always showed me photos. My brother, my brother, look, look, at, the, look at my house. Look at my... But he's just very proud because, you know, where he's come from, you know, being here and just seeing, seeing his house what it uh, used to look like and what it, what it looks like now. So, uh, yeah, I don't blame him for being very proud. I'm proud of him too. And that's what he's been able to do for his family. And, um, his family will be very proud of him too. <laughs> My old man is a farmer. And then the farm, he just like, you have to walk for like a couple of hours to get to the farm. And it's warm as in Fiji when you have to walk up those, those hills, it's not that easy. That's me, that's, I used to do that when I was a little kid. I with my old man walk for like two to three hours of um, one way and then come back. And then when I was, when I was over here, uh, my old man was saying, oh, I'm getting old. Like, uh, I don't know if I can walk for that long and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, sweet, no worries. I'll try to build the house first. Then we can, say, oh, no, no, all good, all good. I'll, I'll ride a horse. So now my old man is, um, is he going now? <laughs> Riding up and down the farm rather than walking for two to three hours. All these values that I that they teach me as a young kid is the one working hard and care for people. And the third one is respect. Like it doesn't matter like where you go, you have to show respect, manners. And then uh, those are the three values that both of my parents install in me. Everywhere I go, those three values are always at the back of my mind. And it's, you, you treat you treat others how you want to be treated. Every time I used to go these tough times, um, I always think about, so if I'm gonna give up now, who else is gonna support my family? Because I've got an opportunity for me to come here and try and a better life my, my family back in the islands. And for me to give up just like this, after I've been through, nah, I won't do that. That's, that's why I was just saying like, when, uh, to be playing kind of game and come all those difficulties along the way, ups and downs, and to get where I am now, it's, uh, you just top it off and to get my family there, seeing that uh, they've done. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's yeah, good, feel. good feeling.
that's, that's, that's always been my, my motivation is trying to support my family the best I can. And with all those uh, difficulties along the way and then to be able to achieve that, it's uh, yeah, such an awesome feeling. And, uh, yes, I'm a bit emotional now because it hasn't been easy, but I'm finally here now and, and yes, yeah, now it's good.